Hey there folks, Uncle Troy here, uh, giving you another shot of our tree farm, of tree farmingness. And eventually I dis I've discovered a way to turn this into an experience grinder, because apparently if you take uh, coal out of a uh, furnace, not an iron furnace I don't think, but definitely these stone furnaces, if you take it out manually, let's turn off a couple of these real quick. You get experience, not from the iron furnace, but if you do it from the regular furnace, experience, ding. So it occurs to me if I remove this automatic unloading part, I can just come through every so often, remove full stacks of coal, and get experience. And we're going to turn that into a grinder at some point. Right For right now, though, this is still our automated charcoal factory. And I never thought I'd say this, but I think I have too much charcoal. Which is fine because I'm still running my various turtles off of charcoal. But today we are not going to be. Nope, another tree grew. Good, good, good. For some reason, when I started recording, these trees were not growing and it was concerning me. Alrighty. Uh, but today we're not going to be talking about tree farms or pipes or anything. We're going to talk about Feed the Beast basics. I never thought I would say this, but apparently some of my videos were too advanced for some of my viewers, and they had some questions about Feed the Beast. So, the basics. Feed the Beast is a collection of mods for Minecraft, and unlike your average mod where you open up the Minecraft jar file, and you use some fancy programs to put some new files in place, and change some settings or whatnot, and basically change your installation of Minecraft, in Feed the Beast, you're running a separate installation of Minecraft. You don't even have to have the regular Minecraft installed. You do, however, have to have an account with Minecraft and some knowledge of Minecraft's operation. But to download Feed the Beast, you go to feed-the-beast.com, the link being in the uh, description of every Feed the Beast video. And there you should find a download link and you need to download the launcher and this is a uh, program that does the rest of the downloading for you it signs you into your minecraft account and it is similar to the minecraft launcher standard way you double click to play the game assuming you play the game by double clicking a uh, program file on your desktop now if you're playing the game in a browser window somewhere uh, using the Actually, I've only done that once or twice myself, so I don't even know all the details. But that won't work for Feed the Beast because that will only work with the vanilla version of Minecraft. And now two more trees have grown. So apparently all you have to do is hang out here for a while, and the tree farm is very, very successful. While well, we're at it, doop -doo -doo. tree farm. And you can watch my earlier videos to uh, figure out this program and what all the water currents are for. Now, once you get to the Feed the Beast website, look for the download icon. Download the uh, launcher. Now, when you... I put the launcher in my Minecraft directory, but that's not really necessary. Just put it somewhere where you can find it later. Or put it somewhere where you like to put it, your other programs, your game files, and then put a, desktop, or put a shortcut to the desktop, because I think that's easiest. Now, when you double-click on the Feed the Beast launcher, it's going to do some stuff, ask you some questions, and eventually you're going to reach the point where you can choose which mod pack you want to uh, be playing on. And which mod pack is important, because the different mod packs have different features, different mods, as the name implies. I generally run the Feed... Or I generally run the uh, Minecraft Feed the Beast mod pack, Minecraft, uh, I chose it because I'd been watching some videos on the set on the Minecraft server, and so I had a better understanding of that mod pack than one of the others. Uh, secondly, at the time I chose this, the, the uh, Minecraft mod pack was the only one that had been uh, updated for the latest ver then latest version of Minecraft. So I really uh, thought that would be the best one to do in a tutorial series about because it was being updated for the latest version and because it seemed pretty popular. And let's see, is he going to find the next tree? 
I hate to pat myself on the back, but I'm really impressed with my little tree farm. Go, turtle, go. If you're trying to run the Feed the Beast and you're not getting Feed the Beast, you're getting vanilla Minecraft, well, then you're clicking on the wrong shortcut. You're trying to run the wrong program. You need to run the Feed the Beast launcher. By the way, if you're getting some frame rate issues uh, when you've got a giant uh, tree farm like this with huge redwoods or Douglas firs, try changing your graphic settings from fancy to fast and maybe lower your render distance, which is what I just did there. Okay, once and uh, once you get the Feed the Beast, you've got the right mod pack installed, you enter into the uh, startup screen, which should look something like this. And of course, if I forget to put these pictures in later, this is, video is going to be very short and very uh, embarrassing. Which is the story of my dating life. Anyway, once you get in there, uh, something I did not occur, did not occur to me, and for a long time I said, well, too bad Feed the Beast uh, multiplayer is broken because there are no servers showing. Uh, I forgot that if you uh, you have to manually enter the server address, set up a new server you want to connect to, inside the Feed the Beast version, not inside the vanilla version. If you try to connect to a Feed the Beast server from vanilla, then it just says you don't have the right mod loader installed or something like that. And if you try to connect to a vanilla server from Feed the Beast, actually I'm not sure what that does, I've not tried it, but I assume that won't work either. So you have to go inside Feed the Beast to add your server and if you can't connect to a Feed the Beast server, that might be the problem. You've not added the server or you've added the server incorrectly. Standard Minecraft problems. However, also, you have to make sure that you've selected the right mod pack before you try to connect to the server. Because if you're running, the, say, the Dire Wolf mod pack and you try to connect to a Mindcrack mod pack server, I'm pretty sure that won't work. And I think that was also one of my problems early on. So that's how you do that, and I probably should have put this, yes, went through the leaves, and now he's digging up. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. And yes, sometimes I log on just to watch my tree farm, farm operate. And if I ever get one of them fancy world uh, loaders or chunk loaders that keeps this part of the game running all the time, then I may uh, change the script in that turtle so that he runs all the time. Okay, so that's what I think you need to know. The basics of where to find the Feed the Beast, uh, how to download the launcher, uh, run it, select the proper mod, and connect to a server. The important thing to remember is that the Feed the Beast is a separate uh, installer. It's a separate launcher. It's a separate program entirely than vanilla Minecraft. The second thing to remember is that each individual mod is a separate game within the launcher. So Feed the Beast servers and Minecraft servers are not going to be compatible. The various Feed the Beast mod packs are not going to be compatible. So you need to be very careful when you're choosing which to do what. That's about all I have to say about that. Okay, so I'm going to amuse myself by watching my tree farm. Um, you may stay here with me and watch. Or you may just you know click away and watch some other video. You'd... It's not necessary to watch this video all the way to the end. There's not going to be like a surprise Easter egg at the end or anything like that. Honestly. This is Uncle Troy signing out. Please have a good night.